this video is grade two, session 21, measuring temperature with thermometers. In this session, students practice reading thermometers that display the actual room temperature and then observe the changes as the thermometer is placed in very cold water. In the previous session, students became familiar with various types of thermometers and how they work. They were introduced to several types of thermometers, either actual or images. This shows fever thermometers, which most students are familiar with. They are digital. This image shows several types of outdoor thermometers, digital as well as more traditional. And the third shows cooking thermometers, meat thermometer, oven thermometer, and a candy thermometer. Many thermometers now are digital and students may not completely understand how a thermometer actually works. So in the previous session, they did this worksheet, which explains how thermometers, or how thermometers work. It says the thermometer is a tool used to measure temperature. When the liquid in the tube of a thermometer gets warm, it expands and moves up the tube. When it cools, it contracts and moves down the tube. Temperature is measured in degrees using the Fahrenheit or Celsius scale. Students then had the opportunity to read temperatures on printed thermometers. In this session, they're going to actually use a thermometer. They'll use this worksheet and follow the directions. The question is, how does a thermometer show changes in temperature? We have a thermometer. We have a cup of very cold water. It says, first, read the starting temperature on the thermometer. Look at the lines on either side of the tube. At the top of the liquid, the long lines count by tens, the short lines by twos. Now, it's extremely important when students are handling thermometers they will under they, that they do not stick their finger on the bulb because somebody will figure out that's how you make the temperature go up but that's also how you end up with broken thermometers different student thermometers are scaled differently uh, this one reads approximately 65 degrees fahrenheit which is about 17 degrees celsius so that's the starting temperature. I'm going to slide this over here. Uh, pour very cold water into the clear plastic cup, filling it at about halfway. Now we've already done that. And I'm going to move this over here so you can see, because number three says, place the thermometer into the cup of water and watch what happens. Pay attention to the water. in the cup to the water in the, the thermometer. It is going down because the water is significantly colder than the air temperature. So we'll let it go just a little bit longer. And they're waiting for the liquid in the tube to stop moving. And this is representative enough. I'm going to pull this out and wipe it off a little bit. And it looks like the temperature now reads approximately 52 degrees Fahrenheit and about 11 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to record that down here. So the question is, what happens and why does this happen? What happens is the liquid goes down. Because
it gets colder. and contracts or gets smaller. And they will understand that because of the previous lesson. Um, and it does say, wait until you see the liquid stop moving, then read the temperature again. We record that. Why do you think the liquid stopped moving down? This may require a little bit more conversation, but the idea is that the liquid in the thermometer, which is usually alcohol, rubbing alcohol type, reached the same temperature as the water. Now, if you leave it long enough, the water will come to room temperature and the thermometer will reflect, will go up to room temperature also. I would close the session with a brief discussion about why using and being able to read a thermometer is important in their daily lives. And that is session 21, measuring temperature with thermometers.